Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of AI Adventures with Garrett. Today, we have a great one for you. Okay, so here's our prompt. And we're going to, I noticed that starting it off with a lowercase letter, I've had a lot better odds getting it to open-endedly respond to my prompts more like instead of just making it like a more concise, like answering a question kind of a prompt. I want to push this AI's creativity to the maximum. So we give it outlandish scenarios and make it fill in the gaps. So here we go. Cut to an over-the-top microphone interview in the backseat of a limo. Bill Nye wearing a tinfoil hat explaining conspiracies like he took the red pill or some shit and yelling offensive things at pedestrians whenever he sees them out the window as they drive by. Period. I think that's actually the first period that I used. Yeah, okay. Uh, and I've also, I also try not to use too many senses. Uh, I don't know if that helps or not. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions or, or what you guys have discovered during your use. Use the phrase, quote, dumbass, out the window, suspiciously more often than other equally hilarious insults. I'm sorry, guys. I have a weird sense of humor. It, it's, it, it should work fine. Have them start this explanation of the conspiracies with their founders and discoverers and historically go over the dates of all the advancements and understanding the conspiracies. After every three sentences in his... Every after every three sentences, his Tourette's forcing Bill Nye to swear at an innocent bystander out the window. I don't know if you guys can tell from my grammar, but it is not great in here, and that is actually mostly on purpose. Uh, but if there was any correct grammar spots that I was trying to do it correct at, I'm sure I probably messed that up too. So, anyways, let's see how this one works. Bill Nye, donning a tinfoil hat, leans back in the limo, an air of eccentricity surrounding him. The camera zooms in on his intense gaze. Bill Nye, welcome, my friends, to the wild ride of conspiracies. You see, I've taken the red pill, and there's no going back. The world is a very different place when you open your eyes to the truth, dumbass. He yells at a bewildered pedestrian walking by, startling them. Bill Nye, now let's start with the basics. Conspiracies have been around since the dawn of time. But we're going to focus on some modern gems. Back in the day, around the 1940s, we had the birth of the UFO conspiracy. People started reporting strange lights in the sky, and the government, of course, tried to cover it up, dumbass. Cyclist rides by, earning another insult. Oh, man, I okay, guess funny. Sorry, I'm so nice. Then in the 50s and 60s, we had the rise of the Illuminati conspiracy. You know the secret society pulling the strings behind the behind world events, dumbass? <laughs> Save the Illuminati. These symbols are in sight. The dumb. <laughs> like the doll, all the dollar bill. Let's not forget the New World Order, the plot to create a one world government. Conspiracy theorists have been onto that one for decades. He chuckles and then spots a jaywalker. Moron! <laughs> Life is a South Park episode. <laughs> Anyway, moving on to the 80s and 90s, we had the peak of alien abduction stories. People claimed to be taken aboard UFOs and experimented on. It was wild stuff, and some still believe it to this day. Dumbass. <laughs> Bird flies by causing Bill to die. Bill Nye, as we enter the 21st century, conspiracies evolve. We had 9-11 truthers, chemtrails, and the idea that the government is hiding free energy technology. They don't want us to know the truth, folks. Dumbass. Takes a breath and this continues. And let's not forget about the flat earth theory, which can't subtract, can't track online. Some people genuinely believe they're this flat. Can you believe that, dumbass? It's a testament to how powerful these beliefs can be. 
Bill Nye goes on delving an intricate web of conspiracies. His passion and his Tourette's intertwining in a unique and entertaining manner. He's just so thorough that unsuspecting passerby adds a layer of absurdity to his already eccentric character. Okay, let's get let's get stupid. All right. Mm. All right. Next episode. Ooh. Bill Nye picks up Cheech and Chong. In <laughs> so gets gets too. <laughs> Desperately trying to <laughs> calm him down and subdue him. <laughs> <laughs> but it is <laughs> drug induced it loves uh, hyphens by the way if you can use hyphens it, it likes it induced psychosis naked and covered Oh, and butter. Cheech <laughs> and John <laughs> just as high, but not as affected. Affected, sorry. Affected due to their. <laughs> Tall hundred. <laughs> 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 laughing the the whole time, making fun of him. <laughs> themselves scared that they will be in trouble for getting Bill that high. It's even funnier because they have no idea who he is or what he's ever, he's ever talking about. Yeah, and they have put the soda. <laughs> Give him back in the limo, and they sing a song that they wrote together. All three of them. All right. So next next episode, Bill Nye picks up Cheech and Chong, gets too high, and leads Cheech and Chong desperately trying to calm him down and subdue him. But in his drug-induced, oh wait, and to do him on a chase through the redwood forest. <laughs> but in his drug-induced psychosis, he has stripped naked and covered himself in butter. Teach and Chong just as high, but not as affected due to their belt, built, sorry, up tolerances. Just absolutely die laughing the whole time. Making fun of him. Themselves scared that they will be in trouble for getting Bill that high. It is even funnier because they have no idea who he is or what he's ever talking about. Okay. Uh, I need to finish this. Uh, themselves scared that they will be in trouble for getting Bill that high. 
still be trying in vain to catch him while complaining about <laughs> playing about the butter. <laughs> It's even funnier because they have no idea who he is or what he's ever talking about. And the episode after they finally subdue him back into the limo and they sing a song that they wrote together all three of them. <laughs> oh man, I hope this is a good one. All right, Cheech and Chong, the iconic comedy duo, are cruising down the Pacific Coast Highway in their vintage convertible. Cloud smoke trailing behind them, a spot familiar figure on the side of the road. Bill Nye, looking disheveled and in a state of panic. Chong, hey man, check that cat out over there. He looks like he's seen a ghost or something. Cheech, whoa, he's freaking out, man. We should probably help him out. You know, spread the love and all that jazz. They pull over and approach Bill Nye, who's pacing back and forth, his eyes wild with fear. Cheech, hey brother, you all right? You look like you could use a chill pill. Butter, they're coming for me, slippery. Oh, God. Well, this dude's tripping hard. Pass the joint over here. Let him bring it down now. Good thinking, my man. Here, brother, take a hit. Bill Nye is a distressed state. state. Takes a massive drag from the joint, hoping it'll calm his nerves. Unbeknownst to him, the potential, the potent combination of whatever he's already ingested and Cheech and Chong's top shelf weed sends him spiraling further into a drug-induced psychosis. Bill Nye, his eyes opening. Oh no, it's all making sense now. The government, the conspiracies, they're real. I need to escape. Become one with nature. Before Cheech and Chong can react, Bill Nye bolts into the nearby redwood forest, stripping off his clothes as he runs. His body glistens with a thick layer of butter. <laughs> An odd choice of camouflage. Chong bursting into laughter. Oh man, this dude is naked and covered in butter. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Cheech, I have no idea, but we can't just leave him like this. Come on, let's try to find him before he gets into real trouble. Oh man, Cheech and Chong still giggling uncontrollably venture into the majestic redwood forest, their eyes scanning the surroundings for any sign of the elusive Bill Nye. <laughs> Chong between laughs, this is hilarious, man. He's like a slippery butter ninja. I know, I know, but we gotta find him. Imagine the headlines if someone finds him like this. Science guy goes wild in the redwoods. We gotta save his reputation, man. They stumble upon various clues, a discarded shirt, butter smeared on the tree tops. <laughs> but Bill Nye remains elusive, his naked butter-coated form darting through the tree. <laughs> Chung out of breath. <laughs> this guy is fast. <laughs> Why does he keep yelling about conspiracy? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh man. Oh man. I'm sorry. I have no idea, but we're not leaving him out. Leaving him out here. And keep your eyes peeled. He could be anywhere. After a lengthy and comical chase, they finally corner Bill Nye near a serene creek. He's exhausted, butter slicking, and babbling incoherently about aliens and government covers. <laughs> she, all right, my buttered friend. <laughs> the fun's over. Let's go get you cleaned up and figure out what's going on. <laughs> Sean, handing Cheech a towel here. Wrap him up. We don't want him slipping away again. And then we gotta watch this butter up. It's getting everywhere. <laughs> oh man, Bill Nye now clothed in somewhat calmer sits in the back of the limo with Cheech and Chong. The three of them are still slightly buzzed, but a sense of camaraderie is formed. Bill Nye is sheepishly. I apologize for my erratic behavior, gentlemen. I may have overindulged and let my imagination run wild. Cheech, no, worry, no worries, brother. We've all been there. It's all about the journey, right? Chong says, absolutely, man. And hey, we had a blast chasing you through the forest. It was like a, it was like a hilarious, slippery adventure. Well, nice smiling. I must admit it was quite the experience, and you two kept me grounded in your own unique way. Well, now that we're all calm and collected, how about we make some music, a little jam session, a session to cap off this wild ride? Bill Nye intrigued. I've always wanted to try my hand at songwriting. Let's do it. 
They start strumming guitars and singing together. Bill and I, Cheech and Chong, buttered and bewildered in the forest we ran, conspiracies swirling like a slippery plan. Chasing through the trees, we laughed and we sang. Oh, what a wild ride, a trip so strange. <laughs> Oh man. Stay tuned for the next episode of Bill Nye's Wild Ride. <laughs> the adventure continues with unexpected twists and turns. Oh man. Let's let's let it do its own thing next episode. Alright. Next episode. You You pick the scenario and the People that Bill Nye runs into ensure dramatic, hilarious chaos. All right. Let's let this thing go crazy in the art gallery. Yeah, this might backfire on us, but we'll see. Let's see how much of like the attributes that we like programmed in like remain. It might just like at this point it might just be straight back to a uh, blank slate of what it thinks Bill like Bill Nye is. So But we did tell say make it chaotic. <laughs> Let's see what it comes out to. Alright. This one doesn't seem that long. Hmm. Okay, yeah, no, that was that was really stupid. All right. We're going to actually copy this one. This last one that we had that was good. No we'll cheating strong in it. Come on, man. Where's that? Is there no... Mm, there's no copy thing anymore? And what year is this? All right. We're going to copy that. We're going to do a new chat. Just... just just in case, you know, just just in case. Okay, so we're gonna go this, boom, that. That was the first. That was the last episode. In the next episode. Bill nineteen. So Bill and I teams up with Snoop Dogg and Afro Man. Seems to be a good combo. Roman in a limo where they Travel from city to city. Selling the loudest chronic. And Bill Nye's accidental crack rock formula he invented. Driving the themes wild across the nation. All right. Chronic Chronicles. Nice. All right. The camera opens to a luxurious limo cruising down the open road, a cloud of smoke billowing from the windows. Inside, we find an unlikely trio. Bill Nye, Snoop Dogg, and Afro Man, each with a satisfied grin on their faces. The vehicle is packed with state-of-the-art equipment, protesting and packaging their unique product. 
Say, so like, yo, this is this here is a Chronic Express taking our fine product across the nation. We got the best of the best, straight out of the lab. The one and only Bill Nye. Bill Nye with a mischievous smile. Indeed, my friends, I've accidentally stumbled upon a formula for creating the most potent chronic ever seen. Let's just say my scientific curiosity got the best of me. I have my naked hip from the joint. Well, this stuff is off the chain, man. Your formula is like the holy grail of weed, B. Bill. <laughs> weed, B. Bill, we're going to make a killing out here. The limo pulls up in front of diff in, in different cities, each time greeted by eager customers who have Heard the whispers of legendary product. Bill Nye and Snoop Dogg and Afro Man have become an infamous trio. Their faces recognized by enthusiasts far and wide. They set up they set up pop-up dispensaries selling out in record time. Snoop Dogg behind a makeshift counter. We got the good stuff right here, my friends. Straight from the lab. Tested and approved by the one and only Snoop Dogg himself. Afro Man strumming his guitar. It's like a party on wheels, man. We're spreading the love and the chronic everywhere we go. This is the life. Bill Nye adjusting his lab coat. Well, I must admit this venture is quite outside my... Usual scientific pursuits, but I can't deny the satisfaction of seeing people enjoy the fruits of my accidental formula. Cut to a tense scene. As the popularity grows, the, they encounter rival dealers who are less than pleased with their success. A group of menacing-looking individuals confer, confront the trio, demanding they hand over their supply. Rival dealer, hey, you guys are cut into our business. Hand over the goods or there's going to be trouble. Snoop Dogg standing his ground. We don't roll like that, my man. We're here to spread the love, not start a war. Afro man brandishing a guitar case. Besides, we got backup. You really want to mess with the three of us? Bill Nye with a slight smile. I think it's time we showed these gentlemen the true power of science. <laughs> Bill Nye, Snoop Dogg, and Afro Man unleash a barrage of scientific gadgets and weed-infused weapons on their rivals, incapacitating them with a cloud of potent smoke. The rivals retreat, realizing they are no match for the dynamic trio. Snoop Dogg, that's right, my friends. Don't mess with the chronic crew. We roll deep in, We roll deep with science on our side. Afro man laughing. Who would have thought Bill we Bill Nye the weed whisperer? You're a legend, man. Bill Nye sheepishly. I suppose my scientific prowess has its advantages. Now let's get back on the road and keep spreading the love. End scene. Fade out with the limo driving off into the sunset. Okay. Well, they forget a lot of that. But next, next episode, they get so so rich from their endeavors. Man, come on. Uh, uh, what? No, no. Okay. There was that. Uh, Bill. Gets the means to invent. Oh. Really smokes too much crack. Too many crack rocks, sorry. Too many crack rocks. And builds a super tinfoil hat that allows him to <laughs> telepathically communicate. <laughs> <laughs> with woodland <laughs> features. He runs off into the forest <laughs> leaving Snoop and Afro Man to s to search for him once again. Unfortunately for them <laughs> Invent <laughs> oh. control bill has created an army of the woodland creatures all hopelessly loyal to him. Because he got them addicted to his accent and told too many crack <laughs> crack rocks. <laughs> they obey his every command and Ruth Leslie defend.
attack Snoop and Afro Man as they try to get to Phil <laughs> to save him. <laughs> And the episode it episode in the middle of their battle. Alright. So let's get really crazy and really off the wall. Alright. Opening scene. Snoop Dogg and Afro Man are relaxing in their lavish mansion, counting their earnings from their successful chronic enterprise. The atmosphere is calm and peaceful with the scent of their signature weed lingering in the air. Snoop Dogg, yo, this is life. this life is good, my brother. We roll it in the dough, and our product is in high demand. I tell you that Bill Nye is a genius. Afro Man taking a drag from his joint. Yeah, man, Bill's a mad scientist for sure. But where is he anyway? He's been locked in his lab for days now. Just then, they hear a loud crash coming from Bill Nye's laboratory. Concerned, they rush to investigate, only to find the room empty, except for a strange contraption made entirely of tinfoil. What the? Where's Bill? And what's with the tinfoil hat situation? Afro Man scratching his head. I have no idea, but it looks something like straight out of a sci-fi movie. You don't think before Afro Man can finish his sentence, a voice echoes in their minds, startling them. Greetings, my friends, says Bill Nye. I am one with the forest now. The crack rocks have shown me the way, and I have harnessed the power to communicate with the woodland creature. Dog eyes widening. Bill, is that you? What have you done to yourself, man? Afro man looking around nervously. This is some next level stuff. Bill's gone off the deep end, but we gotta find him before he gets into real trouble. Oh yeah, that real trouble. <laughs> Cut to the forest. Snoop Dogg and Afro Man venture into the dense forest, their eyes scanning the surroundings for any sign of Bill Nye. They stumble upon a trail of tinfoil scraps, leading them deeper into the woods. <laughs> Snoop Dogg whispering, This is getting weirder by the minute, man. Bill's really outdone himself this time. Oh, man. Oh, man. Afro man nodding, I know, and check out these paw prints. It looks like he's been hanging out with some furry friends. As they continue their search, they notice something peculiar. <laughs> the forest creatures seem to be acting strangely. Their eyes glaze over with an otherworldly glow. Snoop Dogg nudging Afro man, yo, check out those squirrels over there. They're acting weird. It's like they're under some kind of spell. Afro man frowning, you're right. And look, there's Bill. What's with all these animals following him? <laughs> they spot Bill Nye adorned in a tinfoil robe surrounded by an army of woodland creatures. <laughs> and even a family of deer. <laughs> he stands tall. <laughs> His eyes shining with an otherworldly light. Bill Nye raising his arms. <laughs> Behold my loyal subjects. I, Bill Nye, have unlocked the secrets of the forest. <laughs> the power of the crack rocks. <laughs> Together we shall rule this realm. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god. Snoop Dogg shocked. Bill, what have you done? These creatures are under your control. <laughs> oh man. Frantically. <laughs> yeah, man, they don't look too friendly. We gotta get to Bill before things get ugly. Oh man! Snoop Dogg and Afro Man find themselves facing an army of enraged woodland creatures. Their eyes fixed on them with fierce determination. 
Bill Nye standing atop a large boulder watches with a maniacal grin. <laughs> Snoop Dogg brandishing a makeshift weapon. <laughs> All right, my furry friends, let's keep it peaceful. <laughs> we just want Bill back. No harm done. <laughs> Afro man dodging a charging squirrel. <laughs> Easy for you to say these little guys mean business. <laughs> the battle ensues with squirrels launching themselves at them, rabbits kicking up dirt, and deer charging with their antlers lowered. It's a chaotic and hilarious scene, but the danger is real. Oh, man. Snoop Dogg swinging a branch. Whoa, these guys are fierce. Bill, call off your army, man. <laughs> Ducky, a swooping bird. Yeah, Bill, snap. But dude, you're losing it. Bill died laughing maniacally. Never there, my command. Feel the power of my crack rock formula. <laughs> oh, man. As the battle rages on, the trio finds themselves surrounded, outnumbered. And overwhelmed by the relentless assault of wooden creatures. <laughs> Snoop Dogg grunting as he fends off a raccoon. <laughs> this is getting intense, man. <laughs> we can't hold them off much longer. <laughs> Several men dodging a deer's antlers. You're telling me, Billy, you gotta step out of this trace. We need your help. Bill, I, his eyes widening. Wait, what have I done? I've corrupted the innocent creatures with my accidental work. I must make things right. With a sudden burst of clarity, Bill Nye's tears tears off his tinfoil robe. The glow fading from his eyes, the woodland creatures freeze, their minds freed from his influence. My apologies, my friends. I got carried away with my newfound powers. Let's retreat and regroup. <laughs> Snoop Dogg wiping his brow. That was a close one, man. We almost became woodland warrior casualties. Yeah, but we're still standing, says Afro Man. Now let's get Bill back to the lab and figure out how to undo this crack <laughs> And scenes fade out with the trio walking back to the forest surrounded by curious but no longer hostile creatures. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next thrilling episode of Bill Nye's Wild Ride when the fa trio face faces the challenging task of re rehabilitating the wounded creatures and undoing the effects of Bill's accidental crack rock formula. Will they succeed or will the forest forever be under Bill's influence? Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I completely forgot the part where I wanted to stop mid-battle. I wanted to affect the end of the battle after I got to see kind of where it was going. I got greedy. And it just said, screw you, I'm, I'm going to finish the battle. So finish the battle for me. We're just going to we're just gonna let it ride. We're going to let it ride. We're going we're gonna to let it do what it's doing, and we're going to just keep going on from here. And it seems to be pretty good at coming up with ways to fill in the blanks, but I think I might have made it a little too strict that time and also the shit that's coming out of my brain is whack so <laughs> let's see where else we can go hmm. all right well we don't have to care about fixing the wooden creatures let's let's go on to something else next episode Oh, man.
Bill Nye. Accidentally smokes too many crack rocks. Starts yelling at passers by. Excuse me. I'm calling him insults again. Uh, like dumbass. All right. He lies about not putting it. All right, I'm gonna make it. That's too complex. Snoop Dogg and Afro Man don't notice Bill lacing their blunts with his rocks. Oops. Now they are all completely out of their minds. But luckily, they brought Jamie from the JRE with them, and he tries to keep everybody from drawing too much attention. But Snoop and Afro Man see Bill calling strangers dumbasses and can't resist joining in the fun. Jamie fails miserably at getting them to stop hanging out the car, grabbing girls' skirts, girls' butts, and calling people names. <laughs> At the end of the episode, the boys are lit as fuck, and Jamie <laughs> is crying in the <laughs> <laughs> All right. The <laughs> limo pulls up to a bustling city with Snoop Dogg, Afro Man, Bill Nye, and Jamie from the Joe Rogan Experience. Jamie is Jamie known for his calm and collected demeanor as he's driving the group to their next destination. I didn't say he was the driver, but that's that's an interesting take. Oh god. All oh, bad. We're gonna get crazy in here. Okay. I'm sorry, Jamie. I, I didn't I, I I really didn't say for them to make you the driver, but you're the driver. Okay. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, we've arrived in the city. Let's try to keep a low profile and avoid any unnecessary attention, okay? Snoop Dogg nodding. Yeah, man, we don't need any drama. We're just here to enjoy the sights and spread some good vibes. Afro man grinning, absolutely, and maybe smoke a few blunts along the way. Bill Nye, eyes shining with excitement. Indeed, my friends, I brought along a special batch of enhanced blunts. Let's just say they're extra potent. Jamie frowning. Enhanced blunts, Bill, are you sure that's a good idea? We don't want any trouble. Before Jamie can progress further, Snoop Dogg and Afro, Afro Man eagerly grab the blunts from Bill Nye, lighting them up and taking deep drags. Unbeknownst to them, Bill has accidentally laced the blunts with an excessive amount of his infamous crack rocks. Oh, fuck. Okay. Sleep dog and exhaling a cloud of smoke. Well, these blunts are something else, man. They hit different. Afro man, eyes widening. Yeah, I feel like I'm in another dimension. This is some next level stuff, Bill. Bill and I grinning mischievously. I must admit, I may have overdone it a tad, 
But hey, we're all consenting adults here, right? <laughs> As the limo drives through the city, the effects of the enhanced blunts kick in. Snoop Dogg and Apple Man start feeling the full force of the crack rocks. Their inhibitions disappearing. <laughs> Snoop Dogg leaning out the window. Yo, check out that guy over there. He's got a sweet pair of shades. But he's a dumbass for not noticing. That <laughs> pro man joining in. Hey, lady, nice butt. And you're a dumbass. <laughs> For not knowing how fine you are. Afro man just wooing the ladies over here, man. Ah, oh, man. Bill Nye laughing hysterically. Oh, yes, the crack box are flowing through our veins. Let's embrace this wild ride, my friends. Jamie frantically. Guys, please keep it down. We're drawing too much attention. People are staring. Staring. Oh, oh, I got the hiccups now, man. I laugh too much. The limo comes to stop at a red light. Excuse me. And the group rolls down the windows, enjoying the breeze and cityscape. <laughs> but for Sue, Snoop Dogg and Afro Man's behavior becomes increasingly er erratic. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Calling out to pastors by. Hey, you there, nice suit, but you're a dumbass for not knowing how to rock it properly. Afro man grabbing a girl's butt as she walks by. Hey, sweet cheeks, you're a dumbass for not no noticing my smooth moves. Okay, I think they got the wrong idea with the insults. All right. Okay. Well, they are on crack, so I guess maybe that's... <laughs> Let's just go with it. Fuck it. Okay. Guys, please stop. You're embarrassing yourselves and me. We're causing a scene. Oh, excuse me. Bill Nye shouting out the window. You're all dumbasses for not joining our party. We're living the high life, literally. <clears throat> Inside the limo, the atmosphere is chaotic. Snoop Dogg and Afro Man are laughing uncontrollably. Their eyes wild with euphoria. Jamie is in the front, desperately trying to maintain some semblance of order. Jamie, frustrated. Guys, we need to get a grip. This is not how we roll. We're supposed to be cool, calm, and collected. Snoop Dogg laughing. Sorry, Jamie, but we're lit as fuck. This is the best time ever. Afro Man grinning. Yeah, man, we're on another level. We're the kings of the city. Bill Nye, eyes winding. Oh, no, I think I may have overdone it with the Kraken Rocks. We're all completely out of our minds. Jamie's slumming in his seat. Great, just great. How am I going to explain this to Joe? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I really don't know how you're going to explain that one to Joe, dude. You should have brought him. That's your fault. End scene. Fade out with Jamie looking defeated. And the limo driving off into the night, leaving a truck. Excuse me, trail of chaos and confusion in their wake. Stay tuned for the next episode of Bill Nye's Wild Ride, where a group attempts to recover from their wild night and deal with the consequences of their out of control behavior. Will they be able to salvage their reputations, or will their antics land them in even hotter water? Next episode. Bill and the boys. Stop. Uh, start selling Bill's accidental crack box. I'm yelling. I'm yelling profanities <laughs> of <up> people <laughs> while, <laughs> while hanging <laughs> ridiculous. Let's leave way too <laughs> damn with <him. laughs> 
constantly spilling lean all over Jake. Excuse me. Causeway spilling lean all, all over Jamie. <laughs> While he tries in vain to talk them out of the drug game. <laughs> <laughs> they get so rich they start rapping rich snoop bill afro man come out with a few about bill's side crack He calls enter the crack of sphere. Yeah, let's let him call it whatever he wants. Like they have crack rocks. Crack drug. Okay. Uh, next episode, Bill and the boys start selling accidental crack. Start selling Bill's accidental crack rocks, yelling profanities at people while hanging ridiculously way too far out the damn windows. Constantly <laughs> he's spilling lean all over Jamie while he tries in vain to talk them out of the drug game. They get so rich that Snoop Bill and Afro Man. Come out with a few tracks about Bill's latest invented flavor of accidentally too strong and addictive crack drug. Make Bill transcend dimensions with how passionate he is about his music and how high he is when he writes it. All right. Okay, so uh, a, few, a few tracks about Bill's latest invented flavor of accidentally too strong and addictive crack drug. Make Bill transcend dimensions with how passionate he is about his music and how high he, he is when he writes it. Episode 5. Bill Nye's Wild Ride. Transcend Dimensions. Bill Nye, Snoop Dogg, Afro and Jamie are gathered in a limo. Their faces illuminated by the soft glow of the city lights. Jamie, looking weary, is once again trying to convince the group to abandon their drug-selling endeavors. Guys, I really think we should reconsider this whole drug business. It's dangerous and we're attracting the wrong kind of attention. Bill Nye, grinning mischievously, Come on, Jamie, where's your sense of adventure? Besides, my accidental crack rocks are in high demand. We're making a killing out there. Snoop Dogg, nodding in agreement, Yeah, man, people can't get enough of that Nye brand crack. It's nothing like they've ever experienced. Excuse me. Afro Man strumming his guitar. And let's not forget the music, my friend. Our tracks about Bill's latest invention are blown up. We're making some, we're taking the industry by storm. Jamie, I sighing. I know, I know, but we're tre treading on thin ice here. The authorities are on high alert, and we can't keep flying under the radar forever. Bill Nye, his eyes shining with determination. Fear not, Jamie. We'll handle this with scientific precision. And besides, my passion for music knows no bounds. It transcends. It transcends dimensions. The group enters a state-of-the-art recording studio equipped with the latest technology. Bill Nye, Snoop Dogg, and Afro Man take their places ready to lay down some tracks. The room is filled with the room is filled with a haze of smoke enhancing the creative atmosphere. Snoop Dogg adjusting his headphones. All right, fellas, so let's make some musical magic. Our fans are craving that Nye inspired sound. Afro Man strumming a few chords. Absolutely, Bill. You ready to lay down some vocals? Your passion for this music is off the charts. 
Build my eyes closed, hands raised. I'm feel I'm feeling it, my friends. The crack rocks have unleashed a creative force within me. Let's take our listeners on a journey through the dimensions of sound. As they begin recording, Bill Nye's passion and influence of the, of the crack rocks emerge, emerge creating an otherworldly vibe in the sound. His lyrics flow effortlessly, blend, blending science, humor, and a touch of madness. Bill Nye. The realm of Nye, where the crack rocks reign, we transcend dimensions, never the same. Music, music flows like a cosmic river, taking us higher, a celestial deliver. So, Snoop Dogg adding his smooth vocals. Nye's on the mic, spitting fire and truth. He's on his mind's on a universe, a cosmic youth. We're on a ride, a wild adventure. His crack rocks are the fuel, a mind boarding. It thinks torture rhymes with adventure. Adventure. Hey, torture. I don't know. It's anthem, whatever. Afro mind harmonizing with the laid back vibe. Bill's on a mission, a quest for the stars. His music's a force, a cosmic guitar. We're lost in the rhythm, a symphony of lights. His crack rocks are the key, unlocking new heights. All right. Cut to the limo cruising through the city. The group is riding high, both figuratively and literally, as their music gains traction and the drug empire expands. Jamie, despite his reservations, can't help but feel a sense of camaraderie with the eccentric crew. Jamie shaking his head. You guys are something else. I'll give you that. But we need to be careful. The authorities are onto us, and we can't keep flying this close to the to the sun. Bill and I grinning. Fear not, Jamie. We're like shooting stars, burning bright and leaving our mark in the universe. Besides, my crack rocks are like the rocket fuel for the soul. Snoop Dogg laughing. That they are, my friend. Our, fa our fans can't get enough of that Nye brand high. We're taking them on a journey to another dimension. Afro man strumming a gentle melody. And our music man is like a portal to another, another realm. Bill's passion tra <laughs> transcends the physical and takes us on a spiritual ride. And scene fade out with the limo driving off into the night. The sound of their harmonious voices blending in with the city lights. Stay tuned for the next thrilling episode of Bill Nye's Wild Ride, where the group navigates the challenges of their growing empire, where the authorities close in and Bill Nye's passion for music and track rock continues to transcend dimensions. Will they be able to maintain their success? Or will their wild ride come crashing down? All right, guys. I think this is a good place to stop. I'll uh, excuse me. Continue on, maybe when I don't have the hiccup so bad. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I'm having a blast, and uh, yeah, there's no limits to what you can do with this so far. But we're gonna find them. That's for sure. All right, guys, this is Garrett. Excuse me. Check it out.